Well, my time here in New Orleans is extended a little bit, so why not look around some? It is now five o'clock here in New Orleans, and you guessed it, I'm still at Union Station. We haven't left yet, so right now the train is officially uh, eight hours late. The Sunset Limited left New Orleans, Louisiana before crossing into Texas, traveling through the cities of Houston, San Antonio, and El Paso, while traveling through New Mexico and Arizona overnight before crossing into California and arriving at Los Angeles Union Station. When I dropped off my bags a few hours earlier, the Amtrak employee told me to be back to Union Station by around 12 o'clock just to make sure I didn't miss the train. The inbound Sunset Limited is so delayed. It's over 14 hours delayed now. It's so far delayed that they've actually got pizza for everybody waiting. So I get like a free lunch with pizza. Uh, anyhow, it doesn't bother me that it's delayed. I just feel really bad for the people who are on that train coming here. Anyhow, I'll enjoy my free pizza now. New Orleans Union Station has a little convenience store as well as a subway so you can get a sandwich and take it on the train before your journey. It is now 5 o'clock here at New Orleans Union Station and you guessed it, I'm still here. Uh, we're now Eight hours late for departure on the Sunset Limited. Uh, I think it's left the maintenance yard. That's what they say, it just hasn't pulled up yet. So just waiting to get on. I've got dinner ready to go. So as soon as we get on and, and they get me scanned in, I'm gonna head to the observation car and hopefully eat dinner. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. All right, so I got called out to the train, headed out toward the Sunset Limited. So I got on the Sunset Limited, got my seat right here, and this is how far away a lounge car is. The train pulled out of Union Station around 5.30 p.m., eight and a half hours behind schedule. So I'm relaxing here in the observation car, and uh, this is just a lot of fun. Uh, we had a great view just a moment ago, like in South Louisiana, and we went across this bridge with the bayou, and, and it was just a great view. I wish I had my camera out at the time. Unfortunately, I didn't, but uh, anyhow, very cool. Thursday, May 30th, and uh, I'm in the observation car on the Sunset Limited. I actually had a decent night's sleep last night. Uh, the, my seatmate, he actually spent the night here in the observation car. He said he was a night owl anyhow, and so I had quite a bit of room last night. Uh, he's actually uh, sleeping in the chair right now, back at our regular seat, but uh, 
anyhow, had a decent night's sleep. We're roughly 10 hours behind schedule. Uh, we're about an hour outside of San Antonio, so I'm looking forward to getting outside and stretching my legs. I woke up a little bit this morning when we were in Houston, and I could see the city skyline off. Well, we were, uh, I would say in the distance, but it was pretty much right there. But uh, anyhow, I had my protein shake this morning and just relaxing here in the observation car. Finally, I've made it to San Antonio, Texas. This makes state number seven on my Great American Rail journey. The Sunset Limited is about 10 hours behind schedule, but that's fine because usually we were supposed to get at San Antonio in the middle of the night. So being here in the daytime is wonderful. It feels great outside, not hot at all. Uh, so it's nice to get off the train and stretch the legs just a bit. It sure is nice to be able to get off the train and stretch my legs for just a few minutes. I've been to San Antonio before, but it was literally 20 years ago. Right back here is the Tower of the Americas. And over here is the Alamo Dome. I guess that's what they still call it. I don't know if they do or not. But I went to the Alamo Bowl back in 2004 between Ohio State and Oklahoma State. Um, so that's the last time I was in San Antonio. I'm just walking back and forth along the platform here, trying to get as many steps in as I can. I enjoyed walking around San Antonio, so now I'm just sitting here eating my lunch. I've got some crackers, yeah. pepperoni, and some cheese. And so I just had this from the other day. I've had it uh, in a cooler, and it's still good, hopefully. So just chowing down on this. I didn't sleep great last night, but the one thing that was really good was having this Manta sleep mask. I bought this several months ago and used it at home, and as soon as I put it on, it took a night or two to get used to it, but I started sleeping, just having the best sleep I've had in years. And uh, just traveling on the train, just with the lights from the car and, and from the lights from the windows, even at nighttime, having this Manta sleep mask blocks out 100% of the light. It's just pitch black with this on, and it's very comfortable. So um, I would definitely highly recommend, if you're traveling on the train and you're sleeping on the train at night, get one of these Manta sleep masks. Uh, well worth the money. The Sunset Limited continued west, traveling through Del Rio, Texas, along the Rio Grande River. You know, as I sit here in the observation car on the Sunset Limited, it just gives me tons of time to work on things. I've got uh, photo edits I can work on, football schedules for the fall, photo schedules coming up later in the summer. I've been doing some editing on some videos. In fact, I've been working on my Crescent and New Orleans video. In fact, I'm doing that right now. So I've been sitting here at this table for quite a while now, getting up, stretching my legs every now and then. <clears throat> but it's just given me tons of time to do things, and that's one of the things I was really looking forward to.
to on this trip was to have time to, to do these kind of things that I usually don't have time to do. Let's go ahead and take a little tour of this Amtrak Superliner. Most of the seats are on the second level, although some are on the bottom. All of the restrooms are located downstairs in the bottom of the coach cars. By far, my favorite place on the train is the Sightseer Lounge Car. This is where I spent the majority of my time. On the bottom floor of the lounge car is the cafe, where you can buy snacks, drinks, food, and even playing cards if you're bored. So right now, we're stopping in this little town called Sanderson, Texas, and this is one of the great things about riding on the train because if I weren't on the train, there's no way I would ever see Sanderson, Texas in my life. There's no reason for me to come through here, but here I am. So just another great, great thing about riding on the train, seeing parts of America that you'd never see otherwise. It's dinner time here on the Sunset Limited and I could go to the cafe car downstairs and get something, but I've got plenty. So my dinner this evening, beef jerky and Pringles. Plus I've got a bunch of other snacks that I need to. And I can go to the cafe car if I want to do that too. But this is plenty right here. Texas. Feels great out here. Sunny, but not too hot. Zero humidity. Gosh, this feels good. That's a good, good. What a cute little town. You don't realize how big this train is until you walk the entire length of it. Um, I can't even count how many cars there were, probably about 10 cars or so, counting the engine and the baggage car. Um, 
see, two engines, one baggage car, two coach cars, that's up to six, two sleeper cars, that's up to eight, a diner car, and a lounge car. So yeah, 10, 10 cars. got the infamous beef stew. I guess because our train's so late, they felt bad and they gave us the beef stew. It actually was pretty good. I was really hoping to have it in the dining car, but unfortunately we didn't. So they just had us come in here to the lounge car and gave us a little bowl and we had to take it back to our seats. We couldn't even eat it in the lounge car. So, oh well, it is what it is. That's okay, I'm back in here at the lounge car now and uh, just enjoying the last little bit of time of sunlight we have before the sun goes down. I guess it's called the Sunset Limited for a reason. This is great. These West Texas sunsets like this, goodness gracious, what a great way to end the day. I just got a brisket and bean burrito from the famous burrito lady here at the El Paso uh, train station. So this is one of the stretch breaks we get to get off the train and uh, everyone says you have to get this lady's burrito. So look at this line. That's just so funny. It was just $3 so can't wait to try it. This is excellent. I might have to go back and get another one. It's so good. It's so funny because even the Amtrak employees are going up to her and buying them. I guess they're just so used to it. They know her by name and everything. So they're going and one guy, one of the employees has a huge bag full. I bet he had 10 burritos in this bag. <laughs> it's just funny. So, so good. I'm not even hungry, but man, this thing is excellent. Good morning. It's about 5.30 in the morning on Friday, May 31st. And uh, I'm so glad that the Sunset Limited is delayed because had it been on time, I'd be getting into Los Angeles about this time. So because it's delayed, I get this amazing view of the Arizona desert. So we're somewhere between Phoenix and Yuma, Arizona, and we're still running six or seven hours behind which is great it gets me to los angeles in a normal decent time of day uh, i still don't know exactly what my plans are when i get there other than checking into my airbnb in long beach but uh had a decent night's sleep again last night i'm learning how to sleep on these trains a little bit you don't get a great night's sleep but you get enough and then you can rest during the day uh, but what a beautiful sunrise this morning
I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, please click that like button. Also, consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. It doesn't cost anything, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. I just picked up my checked bag and now I'm walking out into the city of Los Angeles. I've got a place uh, reserved to store my bags so I can go walk around and do things in the city for a little while. Boy, this is a beautiful station. Beautiful station. Be on the lookout for part three of my Great American Rail journey as I explore downtown Los Angeles. Thanks for watching.